everyone and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we will be going over how to embed your Jing presentation into your ePortfolio on Weebly. So the first thing you want to do before you start recording is go up to Jing and you're going to want to find the settings button which is right here. And you'll go ahead and click on that. Look for the preferences so you'll click on that and what you're looking for is this customize Jing buttons. So go ahead and click on that and then you're going to come to here. So you can see I can go ahead and share this but that gives me just a link to the Jing presentation and what I want to do is embed my presentation. So you'll have to go over to the new button and what you're looking for is this clipboard contents. If you go ahead and click on that scroll bar there, it will give you an option of putting the HTML embed code. So go ahead and um, click on that and then up here you're going to want to give it more of a, a descriptive name. Okay, and I'm just going to say embed code. All right, and once you're done typing that in, you can go ahead and click save. You can see that we have the embed code right here and then this one is just the link and I could go ahead and rename that. You can also go ahead and organize these however you want. I think I'm going to just leave it like that for right now. I'm going to go ahead and get out of there. Now I'm ready to make my video. So we come back up to our little sun here and click the plus button and we're ready to create our video. We're going to size our screen. I think that looks pretty good. And then when I'm ready I'm going to go down to this capture video button and this is just a test so I'm just going to make this real fast but okay this is a test one two three here's my video and that's good enough for this demonstration I'm going to click finish and here's my video right here now I'm going to go down here and I have an option of saving it now that will just give me a link if I save it right there with that button I can just click and save it to my desktop if I wanted or I can get the embed code and this is what I want to click because I want to embed this and you can see it's processing my video right up here and then once it's done it said your capture has been sent and the embed code is ready to be pasted so I can just close out of this and now I want to go to my Weebly portfolio site and I should have a page for my Jing presentation. I'm going to go down here. All right, and I need to go ahead and drag the custom HTML. So we've been doing this in class. And I'm going to click on there. And that embed code is already um, on my clipboard, ready to be pasted. Now, if I just get out of this right now, you're gonna, it's going to be too big for my ePortfolio site. So we have to do one more thing that we haven't done yet in class. And that is we need to change the size right here. So if you go up to the very top line, you're going to see, and this is just HTML coding, and you're going to see the width. This gives you the size, the width, and the height of the player, basically. So let's go in there and change that 1094, and let's put in 700. And then for the second number, let's go ahead and put in 550. Now you can play around with this and put in whatever numbers that you want. Okay, um, that will give you a pretty large screen. So you might want it a little bit smaller. It's really up to you. And then once you're done, you can just click on the outside. And you're going to see that this is going to appear. And there it is. And so then I can go ahead and view it. Now the reason I want to change the size is that the other one was going to be too big and the person viewing it would have to use a scroll bar and that's just really not a good idea on uh, when you want people to view your video. And you can kind of see the the size of this. This might be a little bit too large so again you can go ahead and play around with the settings. Uh, you can go back in there and keep changing it. All right, so it's as easy as that to embed your Jing presentation. And uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.